Hi! So I am doing another on the road vlog since I am now on the Gold Coast. I am currently um, uh, promoting Raylia still. I am off at Supernova Expo which is kind of, if you're not in Australia, it's kind of like Comic Con I guess but uh, Australian version, although there is an Australian Comic Con but this is the Australian Supernova, it's a pop culture expo um, and it's really cool and it's really super amazing, haha, <laughs> super, supernova, get the pun, whatever, I'm losing my voice again, we just had the VIP party um, after, oh that, that sounded very la di da didn't it, but it's called that, so I wasn't trying to be like, ooh, VIP, um, Hmm. Yeah, but we just had that tonight and we um, it was at the top of this amazing like center point tower It was 78 floors up and we had to like hop in this Sardines like elevator to go up there and like the whole time I think I, I literally said out loud Okay, find a happy place find a happy place and everyone and I'm talking like these a-list like actors and Stuff along with like really other cool people, you know, and then the amazing authors and then everything else and then you know And all these people just sort of turned to me and like you're such a weirdo and I'm like we're in a sardine can um, but that's okay we survived because I'm currently here back in the hotel which is great because I like to live um, what was I saying we're at supernova I'm totally spaced out it is currently that's not a watch that's the wristband it's 12 24 at night um, but I know if I didn't do this I would forget all about everything that happened today and I want to make a quick note of the really really cool things that happened today because some really cool things happened um, first up was um, I'm gonna do this really short and sharp because I'm like I need to be like going to bed because I have a big day again tomorrow first up was really really cool on the list was um I met some incredible people. You guys are, you readers are just amazing. You, I've just been so overwhelmed and so incredibly humbled by how many of you have come along to see me and to uh, bring Rayleigh or bring Akane or buy a copy of either of them. And so I just, big, big thank you to all of you for um, just making this so incredibly surreal to me and just such a beautiful, incredible, amazing experience. And I'm, I'm, I'm just in awe of it all. So thank you, thank you, thank you. It's, it, you've blown my mind and I just think that's just, ah, uh, I, I don't have words. Um, so thank you, that was probably the coolest thing that happened today, which was just meeting you guys and just experiencing the wonder of this, so thank you. Um, I had a really fantastic panel as well. I was on with Maria V. Snyder, who is fantastic. I love her Poison Study series. I love her uh, Storm series, the Storm Glass series. I love her Healer series, her uh, Inside Out, Outside In. I I've just written 14 books and I've pretty much written, read all of them and loved them. So meeting her and getting to sort of hang with her has been really, really awesome because she's so cool. Um, but I was on a panel with her and Justin Woolley, who is another young adult Australian author, and he writes sort of like, think of it like zombies in Outback Australia, and uh, his first book is called A Town Called Dust. Uh, go check it out if you, um, if that sounds like, you know, it's really, what does he pitch it as? Mad Max meets, um, you know, I've heard him say it so many times, I should remember this, meets something, something, something. Uh, but anyway, it's a good book. Um, I enjoyed it and I don't particularly like zombies and he knew that and um, it was a good book and his second uh, main character is also called Lynette. So, you know, I think he sort of met me before he met me and just decided to call his character after me. But anyway, panel, he didn't obviously, he wrote the book before I'd ever met him, but good name. Um, and yes, we were on a panel together, the three of us, and it was hilarious. We talked about, uh, it was on the topic of monsters and magic, and we just had so much fun because I think we laughed for most of the panel, and thankfully the audience was laughing with us and not at us most of the time. Sometimes it was touch and go, but that was a lot of fun. Um, what else was really nice today? Um, I had a reader come up to me, and we started talking a little bit about Jordan and something that happens. Um, at some stage in one of the two books and um, she started like tearing up and started crying and it was like it was both horrible and beautiful it was the most saddest but sweetest moment because as an author to know that someone has been so incredibly touched by my characters and the events that have happened is just such a lovely thing and a lot of you contact me and have told me that you know you've you know you've started started crying or you've been really upset with uh, you know certain parts and you know I love getting those emails it's horrible I wish I could crawl through my screen and just give you a hug um, but at the same time and seeing it in person there was just something so beautiful about it um, I didn't handle it very well I'm like here have a lollipop um, 
because I had lollipops, I had potential pops with me. And um, I figured that's what Fletcher would have done. The character the doctor in my books would have said, here, take a lollipop and feel better. Um, but, um, and so I did that <laughs> and she was like, thanks. Um, no, she wasn't, she was lovely, but I was like, here, have another lollipop, here, have another one, just let me give you a hug and it's okay and it's okay. Um, but at the same time, I, you know, I can't give spoilers for my book, so I couldn't say whether it would or would not be okay. And all I wanted to do was tell her, you know, one way or another so that, yeah. But so that was beautiful. Um, another really, really awesome moment was um, there was a, a woman who came along and she's pregnant and she's due to have a baby in August. And she said if she, if she has a boy, she's actually going to call him Fletcher after the doctor in my series. And I was like, I mean, I mean, it's one thing to sort of get a tattoo on your body, which is epically committed and amazing, um, but to name your child after one of my characters, I was like, I'm now going to start crying. That is so cool. Um, and so I really hope she has a boy now, because I think I don't think Fletcher's a very good girl's name. She could make it work. But anyway, so that was really awesome. Um, another awesome thing was I, I got to have a chat with um, Bonnie Wright this morning, who plays Ginny Weasley in the Harry Potter films. And you guys, anyone who knows me or knows anything about me knows I'm like addicted to Harry Potter. Um, so, but at events like this, I sort of switch off my brain and I sort of, I see, thankfully, I see the human rather than the character. Um, but it was really cool just having a chat with her a little bit about, we probably only talked about Harry for like two seconds and I was like oh hey you're in Harry Potter and then from that we moved on to talking about you know what she's doing now and what I'm doing and how she's traveling and what's going on with my show you know just normal life stuff and it was really cool but in the end you know when she was asking me what what I do and stuff and I was um, I had a copy of Akane with me and I was showing it to her and um in the end she's now she now has a copy of Akane with a signed copy for me and I'm like huh that was probably the moment when I switched off my human to character and I was like, oh wow, Ginny Weasley has a copy of Akane. Um, but then I switched it back to, okay, remember, you're talking to Bonnie the human now, don't be a weirdo, Lynn, calm down. So that was really cool. Um, that was a really nice moment. There's actually just been an incredible lot of really, really cool moments. So this tour has been fantastic and the party tonight was so much fun. Um, and um, yeah, no. Uh, it's, it's great. It's been really, really cool. Supernova is always incredible. If you if you live in, uh, they do it in all the major cities of Australia. Uh, so far they do it in Brisbane, uh, Adelaide, Perth, Sydney, and uh, Gold Coast and Melbourne. Um, so obviously I'm currently doing the Gold Coast one. We are doing Melbourne next week. I will be there and um, get to do this all over again. Just a new city, new experience. Um, so yeah, try and check it out if you're ever around because it's it's amazing. Like it's like a, an entire culture and it's really cool and really everyone is so nice and everyone's dressed up and blah 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 blah. So um, the blah blahs were me checking the clock again and realizing I'm way needing to go finish this. Um, but it's really really fantastic. Check it out. Um, I'm gonna go now but um, yeah, I'll check in tomorrow night if, or not, maybe I should actually do a typing blog. Who knows? Who knows? I don't know what I'm going to do. All I know is right now I need to sort myself out. There is like, I'm in an amazing hotel. I have like 360 degree views. You can probably see out the window at the back there. There's like a view straight out over um, like Broad Beach and the entire ocean um, and um, the strip of like the main strip of main stuff. What's that strip called? You know, like Central Strip kind of metropolis. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. A, a main thoroughfare, Esplanade kind of thing. I think a bat just flew past my window and I'm like 11 floors up. So that was really creepy because I have another window over this side and then another one that way because I have this massive corner room and it is so amazing. I feel like I need to, I'm going to take my camera for a view. You'll have to excuse the mess of the room because I'm like half unpacked but that's one view if you can see it there and then let's flick over here and then run over here if you can see I don't even know if you can see but this is another one oh it's probably not gonna work <laughs> can't even open the door for this one we've got this view down and the beach all the way out over there. Earlier tonight there was fireworks over there. It may be too dark. Can you even see me? No. That's okay. I'm gonna go now, but 
it's amazing and there's another window like up the other end of the that's me pointing anyway I'm gonna go I'm gonna go um good night I'll talk again later bye